Hello guys, Danny here, and uh, it looks like we're actually approaching the end game now. Um, ooh. Ooh. I forgot to identify stuff last time. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that first, but you'll notice that Kirsty has the orb of um, the Gynum on her. Um, we're going to need that. Uh, the game doesn't expressly tell you that you need it, but you need it. Um, <laughs> As per usual, um, yeah, uh, right, so the rest of the stuff we do actually need to identify, Mev does actually um, have, so I actually forgot we actually had a bow, the bow might actually be really good, so we're gonna, I'm gonna um, identify it. You've obtained a lot of armor. Right, so let's identify. Scale one plus two. Ooh, that's good. Axe of death. Mages, you though. What? What? Hang on. I think I've seen that one before. Uh, excuse me, sec. Why go research what this is? It does 6 to 12 damage. <laughs> hey, Meb! <laughs> I think we found you a weapon, my guy. Okay, so. Um, now, from what I understand. Uh. Okay, so I don't think we need to use the actual um, rods and the actual um, orb at the same time. We do have a plus two lever. Um, okay, so item trade. Uh, trade with Kirsty. Give her the mages you both for the time being. Um, Is everyone on plus two scare melt? No, we are not. So it looks like Dean's actually getting an upgrade here, so that's good. Um, where are you, Dean? Item trade, Mikey. Give him the silver mail for the time being. We no longer need that plus one scale mill. Um, Mikey, can you please trade back the silver mill? Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Meb sort of stuff. Oh, you also have some monk ones, which we're gonna have to get rid of. Um, no, okay, so. Item trade, Meb. Give him the Mages U boat. What does the Mages U boat do anyway? Oh, plus one vitality. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, it would probably use up the item if you do that though, so I'm actually not gonna do that. Because, uh,. Yeah, Meb being able to attack is actually pretty good. This thing does almost as much damage as a heavy crossbow. <laughs> actually, how much does the light crossbow do? Uh, 
Yeah, it does more damage with a light crossbow. It does 6 to 12 damage, while a heavy crossbow does 8 to 15, and the light crossbow does 5 to 10, I believe? Yes. So, um, pretty poggers, as they would say. Um, okay, so we're now going to remove Banksy and remove Meb, add Eddie, add Meb. Okay, so now we're ready. Um, I'm actually going to make a quick save. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make also a quick save here just to so we can actually reload back here if something goes awry. And we are off. We are now officially good to go. And uh, yeah, it should be this should be fun. Um, I'm probably actually going to be running for most battles now, um, purely to conserve like our resources and stuff for like, for actual level eight. Um, now I'm not sure we're going to be able to finish this off this episode, but I'm going to certainly try my best to at least make a lot of story progress uh, in this episode. Because I have a suspicion, um, like this is this final um, floor is going to be quite involved, so. We're gonna um, try our best. Returning back to these uh, almost featureless grey walls. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we're not dealing with that. Anyone who casts like mass group spells, like, no. Already, these things are breathing on all of my people. That's bad. Ooh, gloves. Oh, those might be lava plus two or whatever. That actually might be pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna cast a couple of Deosis on Eddie and um, Meb here, just to make sure that their health is still pretty topped up. There you go. The rest of these guys don't matter so much. Actually, what we could do is... Um, can invoke the power of the silver male here to... Um, kind of cheese this bit a little bit here. I mean, we may as well. We have the item, so... Crap, I accidentally forgot to equip the swords. Well, it would be truly cool if we could actually get like a bunch of samurai swords for everyone, but... No. Oh, whoops, I actually meant to press yes on that. Okay. Yeah. Item trade this item back to Dean. Uh you need to cast the dial on yourself, Kirsty, just to just to make sure that you're a couple of dials on yourself here, just to make sure that you're okay. And yeah, okay, we're ready to go back down. Right, so, um, in we go, we're going to go down this way first I think. Oh 
Right, so somebody approaches the Blue Knight, Lord of Hearts. Right, so we give him the cards. Now here's the really dumb thing about this thing. Thank you very much. You may pass. Eddie got an item. Right, let's see what the item is. It's a mysterious card. It's the same fucking card he just handed back to the fucking guy. <laughs> like, Eddie, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> like, okay, so uh, in the middle of this room, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have one here. Right, so um, Mr. Hart, he is blue, so we're gonna. Um, use item. Oh, right, okay, hang on. Um, okay, so I need you to equip your bow. Right. A gateway appears within the center of a translucent flame. Shame for to enter it. Yes, we shall enter it. All right. Hi, ninjas. Fuck. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So each of these things are kind of in near the center of the actual thing. All right. Cool. Got it. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't mess this up here. Um. So we go in the center. Voice cries out, prepare a pair of Mondas Kearney. Astral Gate appears with strange figures emerging fur form. Mikey advance! <gasps> Our party! Right, um what we're gonna do <laughs> is murder the shit out of Kirsty. Sorry, Kirsty. Uh, we're actually going to cast um, Monito on Meb because I don't want him talking at all. And um, spell, and we want to cast Silhouette on. Okay, so now you'll notice that we're actually fighting our doppelgangers here. Uh, what we're going to do is drop a, a, a pretty powerful spell of our own. We drop a Tulzak on Med. Yay, we managed to kill ourselves. <laughs> Woo! Alright, okay, so um, we definitely need to cast some pretty decent magic now. Um, this might take us a while to actually do this final bit, purely because... Um, well, if we have to fight ourselves again, it could be a problem. Right, so. Um, in the center of a room, a flaming spear hovers above a golden circle etched into the floor. The aura around the spear prevents the party from entering the circle. Um, okay, so do we use the thing now? <gasps> oh! No, no. Okay. Anything circle, so. Just remember now I need to. The great staff glows in your hands, opening a portal into a circle. The circle is divided up into 
nine parts each bearing an inscription and one unlit candle there are nine candles here press A through I to light the candle alright so the guy actually um, did mention uh, what this stuff was so um, spiritual because like you'll notice that um, when the guy was telling you all the aspects of the gate and stuff he was actually like telling you which of the different elements you need to actually close the gate so um, I'm gonna press F1 just in case this is bad but um, I believe it's spiritual um, it's present and um, it's passion Face appears with blue spear. It speaks in solemn tone, saying, "I am one of the three. There are many faces. I am called many names. My symbol is of water. I am the unstable motion of life, and the blue is my color. For I am restless. The sea of life. Now consider carefully my question. I have a kingdom. But over what do I rule? Growth." Because without water, nothing lives. Thou has considered rightly, and the spirit, spirit dissolves. Alright, so we have now shut one of the four parts of the gates up you just have to do that another three more times <laughs> um, this worries me because we're, we're gonna have to fight our clones again <laughs> maybe you know leveling up my characters before entering here was actually a bad idea but it actually does make the enemies um, the characters way more tougher to actually kill now um, do I play this on the side of caution? Wait, hang on a sec. We don't necessarily need to... Um, we don't need to back out just yet. Um, the... The front line definitely have a way of healing themselves. We don't need to... Um, Alright, so we're going to use the silver mill obviously to heal everyone up. Only Kirsty's really hurt now. We'll cast a Dilemma on her. She cast a few Dilemmas on her. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, um... This lord's been dealt with. So let's deal with the next lord. Now one of the lords, remember, we don't actually have the card for. Uh, lord of Spades. Okay, so let's give him an item. Jack of Spades, thank you very much. You may pass. Right, so this guy um, is to do with Earth and his colour is red uh, you would think that like it would be green for earth but maybe I'm like thinking of Pokemon or something red earth like you know clay soil it's kind of red you know I, I kind of get the point of that but let's see which one of you guys is red it's not you it's you okay so um I'm gonna quick save it. I'm gonna get Kirsty to use your Beguinum. And we're in. Right. Now these dungeons are always the same pretty much. Appearance Modus Coloni. So it's basically, hey, 
fight them my clones, an astrogate appears, the strange figures emerging from out. So We have Mikey, Mev, Eddie what we do is we're gonna batter the shit out of Mev, because he does not have the um uh We're gonna cast the mantle on our party. Of Eddie also try to stab Mike and then we'll have um Mev cast Tillaway. And Kirsty's dead, shit. Alright, okay. Um Instead of the flaming red sphere hovers through a golden circle etched into the floor. An aura around the sphere prevents the party from moving. Okay, so, um... Neb, you need to start equipping something. So, um... Obviously this is the Earth Tome? No. No. The staff glows in your hand to open the portal in a circle is divided up into parts bearing an inscription and one unlit candle. And candles are here. Press A through I. So, um, this is uh, physical. If you remember what these guys were telling you before. Um, so this is uh, physical. Uh, this is the past. And... Um, the substance. Face appears with a red spare and speaks a solemn tone, saying, I am one of three, where I have many faces. I have come, I've been calling my name, but I am the symbol of earth, for I am the body of life, my, and red is my colour, for I am the blood of life. Okay, so at least they've justified why he's red and fire's not red. Um, <laughs> now, considering my question carefully, I have a kingdom, but what David do I rule? Well, you rule over nature, my good man, because you know. Earth is, you know, nature. Um, uh, we're gonna definitely gonna need to um We're definitely gonna need to um go back after this because Kirsty got fucking wrecked so hard. You have considered rightly and the sphere dissolves. Okay, so excellent, we've uh, sorted that one out. Um, right, okay, okay, okay. Get me out of here and we need to teleport back to town like immediately. Uh, yeah, she's, she's super dead still. Okay, so. Um, right, so. 9 east, 8 south. Okay, so, um, uh, 9 east, 8 south, um, up 6. So I fuck this up. I did not fuck it up, thank god. Right, okay. So, we're gonna have to resurrect Kirsty. <laughs> Hey, she's been cured of the dead, so that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, so remove and remove and add uh, Kirsty, add Eddie, add Meb, expect Meb, um, equip. Let's equip the Mage's bow on him again.
Right, so we've already taken care of um, the red and the blue. Now, I know Eddie's cards are the same cards as before, but what I'm actually going to do is leave those cards question marks so I know which ones I've already completed. Um, we do need to identify the stuff that Kirstie's, the gloves that Kirsty's holding on to, though. So we're gonna quickly remove Mev and add. Uh, does Banksy have any space? Not this Banksy, no. Um, Cause uh, this might be these might be some iron gloves. Trade. Can Kirsty technically wear these? No. Samurais can't wear them either. Okay, so these are pointless only for lords. I think I... Oh no, no we can. Alright, okay, so... Uh, I think Mikey could actually use these gloves more, actually. Oh, actually, the iron gloves are actually worse, so we can actually get rid of those. back into the party. Definitely want to rest everyone up. Because that was actually a really rough fight. Um, each member... Iron gloves. Yeah, we'll sell them. Like, they're not too useful. Um, we'll need to go back down to the maze again, just to heal everyone up. And then, uh, We'll probably call it an episode there. We've done two, we've closed two of the gates, so... Um... I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um... Wow, well, I was actually kind of a surprise that they would actually send clones of your own party at you. I guess it's to stop people from power leveling a whole bunch. You think about it, that's really clever. Like... Because it means like, oh wow, you, you've gotten a bunch of really powerful characters, have you? Well, you know, it, it does actually require you to actually think of how your party composition and stuff. Now, because I have a bunch of space and stuff, it does mean that they get access to a bunch of, um, like, groups killing spells, so that's actually technically really bad, but it is what it is. So, thank you very much for joining me, guys. I'll catch you guys soon. Goodbye.